I'm Andrew Hunter, Director of the Defense Industrial Initiatives Group and Senior Fellow in the International Security Program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Our report, The Future of Military Engines, looked at the state of the military engine industrial base and the choices confronting policymakers at the Department of Defense. The military engine industrial base is closely tied to the industrial base for commercial engines. The main U.S. engine providers are the same, and it's a key U.S. advantage that our engine providers are global leaders. They use the same facilities and largely the same supply chain. Supply chain quality is critical to performance for both individual aircraft and aircraft fleets, another U.S. advantage. International competitors, Russia and China, are seeking to overtake the United States in engines. The U.S. advantage is sustainable if we make it a priority. There are differences between military and commercial engines, particularly for fighters. They perform different jobs and fly different flight profiles. The military needs the ability to rapidly adjust and maximize thrust, manage heat signature, and power sophisticated systems like electronically scanned radars. These differences mean that while we can leverage the commercial engine industrial base, the Department of Defense must make investments to sustain the industrial base's unique military components. In the next few years, DOD's investment in military engines is projected to decrease significantly, particularly for research and development. This presents a challenge to the industrial base as military unique engineering skills are highly perishable. Four major policy choices confront DOD as it formulates its investment approach to military engines going forward. First, priority. In the early years of aviation, engine development drove fighter development forward. In more recent years, other areas such as stealth and avionics have claimed a larger investment share. How big of a priority are engines going forward? Second, resources. How should DOD allocate its investment in engines between science and technology, improvements to operational systems, designing new engines to support the current aircraft fleet, including the F-35, and engine design for the next generation of fighters? Third, business model. Should DOD continue to finance R&D for the development of new designs with government investment, or should it consider more commercial models that leverage industry funding up front that gets paid back over time? Fourth, competition. How should DOD structure its investment to sustain competition in the design and production of military engines in the future? The Department of Defense is at an inflection point for engine investment. The time for choosing on these four key policy questions will come in the next few years. To read the full report, visit CSIS.org.